here's a quick preview of what we're going to be making in this tutorial. We're going to be making a low poly McLaren 650S. You can see we have just over 4,000 vertices here, quite a bit of detail, most of it in the texture. We're going to be learning how to texture stuff such as these rims, which we make completely by hand using only a picture as a reference. Everything else is done entirely by hand. We're also going to be making everything else you see here, including the logo on the front as well as this pattern here. We're going to be making other patterns later on in the video series. I'm not entirely done with this uh, series as you can tell. The lights are not uh, finished yet, but the majority of everything else is finished. We do have a lot of detail on the front window here. We have the windshield wiper. We also have the side window painted in here. We have this door blade, which is what this is called. It does have the 650S logo down here at the bottom. It's supposed to be a different color I think but I can still change that. Like the 650 is supposed to be a different color than what it is right now but the S is the correct color I do believe. So that's just a minor detail very easy to fix. And we're also going to be adding in um, a carbon fiber texture so we can use it for like this back fin here and as well as the side fin. We just haven't gotten to that point yet. But we do have all the rest of the details on the back, including, again, we have this logo here. We have a spot for the license plate where you can write anything that you would like to write here, like your name or any other type of license plate you'd like to make, and another logo as well as the back window. And one of the cool things about this car that we're making here is it's really easy to change the color. So right now you can see here we just have this green color over to the right. And if I just choose a different color, say if I want my car to be orange, I select this yellowish-orange color. And now I'm in texture paint mode. And in the texture shading, right here, viewport shading set to texture, all you have to do is go over here and start painting over this square here and make sure all of it changes color. And now instantly we have a yellow car instead of a green car with all the rest of the details left untouched. So it makes it very easy to make different colors. And the same will be true when we, when we finish the lights. Those will also show up over, over the, the body color so you won't have to worry about anything like that. So you can also change it to red for example. And we'll just test out a couple different colors. You can of course choose whatever color you would like to choose. This is a nice red color, I like this here. You know, take a nice look around, look at all the details. Came out very nice, I think. And, you know, we can try a blue color. So this will give you a nice example of like what it's going to look like when you change your color. Looks pretty good here. And we'll try maybe an orange. And you can do abstract things. I'm going to show you like a pink color after this. And you can just, basically, you can literally pick whatever color you would like to pick. So these are just some of the pre, um, predetermined ones that I wanted to show you guys because these show, turned out pretty nice. But you can literally pick whatever color you want. So, I mean, this is just a random color. It may not look the best, but you can pick liter literally any color and just paint over this. And there you go. You know, you have exactly the color that you wanted. You could do white, you can do gray. You can do red, orange, pink, purple, something like this, you know, bluish. You could even do um, half one color and half another color if you wanted. You could get really crazy. So if you wanted to do, like, say this purple and then you choose something else, maybe a yellow or something, and you wanted to have part of your car as yellow, you could definitely do, you know, something like this, get a little crazy with it. It's got some uh, a, a little design here in the middle. I mean, really, it's really up to you what you want to do once we have this car made. That's the beauty of this. It's going to be set up perfectly for basically making changes to it. So if you were going to make um, a, a car for a game, for example, this would be really easy to change the texture that's on it. So you could use this car multiple times, change how it looks so it doesn't look exactly the same, and just use it in, like, I don't know, maybe a GTA-style thing if you wanted to or whatever else you really wanted to do with it. But being able to change the color is very important for things like games. It makes it very simple to make your car look completely different without changing a whole lot. 
So this is what we're going to be learning to do in this tutorial. Of course, we're going to start with the modeling part of the tutorial. And then we'll get into things like this, like the texturing and really having fun with it uh, in the later parts of the series. So I hope you enjoy the tutorial. And once I am done with this model, it will be available for download in the description. So you can just download it and start texturing and having fun with it before you even start the tutorial if you want to. But for now, it's not going to be available for download. Once I'm done with it, it will be. So look forward to that in the future. But for now, uh, enjoy the tutorial, get started, make your own car, and let's have some fun with this.